fourth turn five. Or no, my turn five, sorry. Uh, Cloud of Corruption killed a bunch of stuff from the Plague Priest. So the Plague Priest killed a bunch. Uh, these guys actually just pushed. No, I lost that, but I'm steadfast. Uh, the Gutter Runners that charged up here got scared and ran down there. Um, had a big combat over here with Slaves, Gutter Runners, and my character unit now, apparently. And uh, we actually pushed. So, uh, going on to his turn five. Okay, that was the end of his five. Um, horrible, horrible turn for me. Okay, let me walk around the table here. These two guys beat them by one. They rolled an 11 twice in a row, ran four inches, and they rolled double ones. So I actually got lucky, but, you know, you wouldn't think that two guys would actually beat me in combat guys charged down the hill. Whole mess here. Um, I won by one. And they were good and they were good. So that whole combat's going on. And going on to my final turn six. Okay, my turn six uh, went okay, I guess. Um, we've added a house rule to uh, our collection of house rules. Let me tell you how the turn went first. Okay. These guys killed the organ gun clearly. They charged an organ gun, cleared one, and then they overran into that. Uh, this combat fell apart because my assassin killed himself with the blade of corruption twice and then chopped his head off twice, apparently. So I actually gave myself four overkill. And uh, so it really helped lose combat. Um... Everything got away, though. So they, they got away. They got away. Warlord got away. BSB actually died. Because, because uh, you know, the BSB dead rules. Um, and we're going on to his turn six right now. So, yeah. Okay. okay here we are, under the game. <sighs> it's a victory to the fatties. I'm sorry, stunties. They're fat to me. Uh, they got me by about 300 points. Here's what happened at the end of the game. They held. They killed the last war machine there. These guys killed the slaves. And it, it just didn't matter after that. Um, because, uh, he just had more points. I don't know what to tell you. Um, final thoughts on the list that I have. I thoroughly enjoy it. But uh, I probably need more clan rats somewhere. I don't have a lot of clan rats. Um, we usually play 3,000 here, and dropping to 22 or 2,500 is a nightmare. Um, overall, I think I did pretty damn well, considering one, it's dwarves, two, it's Andrew. I've beaten Andrew twice in the past two years. One of which was he was on a two-year winning streak. Then I beat him once, and then I beat him again. So either I'm getting better or he's getting rusty. Anyways, uh, I mentioned house rules earlier. The house rules we have here um, are uh, you can use 7th edition parry if you want. So you get the actual added bonus to your armor instead of the parry. Um, and uh, I can't remember anything else we use offhand. Um, we added one to... Uh, Switching weapons. Switching weapons. You can switch weapons at any time if you've got multiple weapons, i.e. you can use a hand weapon if you have a halberd. Normally in 8th edition you can't do that. Um, and uh, if things are running at the end of the game, I'm still iffy about this one. It's going to take a little more discussing because he won by 8th edition standards, but he still likes to yell at me because I have stuff that counts as points while it's running. But, uh, you know, he wants if it's running at the end of the game, it's gone like it was in 7th edition, and as six, opposed to and 6, and pants 4, 3, 2, 1, blah, 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 blah. Alright, hey, blah, blah, blah. Alright, here's Andrew, your AAR and your thoughts, even though you had the fucking victory. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say for the record that I really, really, very thoroughly hate 8th edition. And, uh, overall, I'm satisfied with the way my list performed. I will be adding a master. I can entrench my war machines, thereby preventing their untimely demise by uh, 
certain gutter runner <laughs> units. Anything uh, else? Other than that, uh, yeah, I'm fairly happy with the results. He's lying. He's not happy. If you'd have heard how much he cussed throughout the game. Anyways, fun game. Always a fun game, no matter what the hell happens. Um, and uh, we'll see you next time here at the, I don't know, the game we play. I, I was going to think of a cool name, but I'm stupid. So, all right, see you next time.